Hey guys, and welcome back to the Yobi One channel. Thank you, my sweet girl. <laughs> and today we are dedicating this all to Born Beautiful. So I wanted to start doing a series of videos just to show you guys what all products that we carry in our line because I realized I've never really done that before. And I think this would be a good way to get out, um, you know, what Born Beautiful carries and what you can uh, purchase on our website. So the first uh, product I'm gonna show you is our brushes. This is a 15 piece brush set that um, comes with both face and eye brushes. So first I'm gonna show you all of the face brushes. <laughs> silly. Go ahead, get your 15 minutes of fame. Make sure you follow her on at the Shelby Show. Yeah, and make sure subscribe you to her channel. Put hashtag Shelby Show better than you'll be one. I thought we were in this together. I'm just being silly. <laughs> All right, so uh, really, uh, six, six face brushes, and I'll show you guys what all comes with it. And so the first one we have here is I use this as a contour brush because to me it is perfect to get like right here in the corner, not the corner. When you create that and you want it, you don't want, you know, contour everywhere. You just want it in a specific area. I think this brush is perfect and it, they do come with our uh, Born Beautiful logo on them. The bristles are very soft, very, very soft. And so I think the quality <laughs> of the brushes are uh, are quite nice. The next one we have here is a, um, this is also a face brush and this is the angled uh, blush brush. Blush brush. Blush brush. <laughs> Which is uh, one that I use for my bronzers you need to learn most of the time. <laughs> Brush. Brush. Makeup. I mean makeup. Makeup. Brush. Brush. But I was saying I was trying to say blush brush. It's kind of like a tongue twister. But anyway, let me finish, okay? So this is the angle brush that you would get with the set. Again, the brushes are soft. They're uh pretty dense. And I like to use it for my um for my bronzers. You may want to use it for you know shadows, it'd be perfect for that as well um the next brush we have in our in our face set is a flat head foundation brush in which i do i use i use this all the time to apply my uh foundation and just you're able to get that really smooth uh effect when you use the stippling method to apply apply your foundation and so you get this one also the next one you get is another uh flat head foundation brush it's this one is just a little bit wider than the other one was before and so you have options on you know um applying your foundations and things like that guys so if you want to get your Kids entertain with some YouTube channel, just go to my YouTube channel because you might have the toys that I get. They and might have them and you can show them how you play with them? Yeah, and sometimes you can learn, learn like A, B, C, D. Yeah, she has a whole sign language video on her uh, channel, so maybe we'll go check that out. I'll drop the link down below so, so they can... you never know when you might have a friend that's deaf. Yes. That means like their ears, they can't really hear. Yes. Not All right. Dying, yeah. Another one is we have another, uh, and this one has like an angle to it. So whenever you know, if you want to get into those corners right there, you're trying to apply your brush, or even uh, you know, you could also use this for a uh, concealer as well to get up into those corners. I never use a big one like this for my concealers, but however, this is for me just another good foundation brush uh, to use. And lastly, in our foundation, in our face brushes, of course, we have the blush brush. 
And I like this because I'm not a big fan of just having like a whole bunch of uh, blush on my face. And so I find that one like this, it has like an angle, gives you the perfect position to put it because you can always apply more. But if I have this big old brush that I'm trying to apply uh, blush with, then it's going to put way too much on my face and so I can continue to add more if I need to but this is a perfect size to build up if you want to okay next we have our facial brushes and we have nine facial brushes that we can use to create all of those amazing looks that you makeup artists makeup enthusiasts beginners experts whatever it is these are the brushes that you need okay and so um let's see the first brush is this is like our eyebrow you know get those eyebrows together brush and so we have this with the angle to create that brow that you're looking for and then we have the uh our brow brush wait y'all can't see that we have our brow we have our brow brush that you guys can use you know to just sweep them in place or whatever mm-hmm Okay. She had already asked me that. I think she's just trying to be in my video. No, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> remember what she said. All right. <laughs> All right. Next we have. This is a dense. This is a dense dome brush. And which for me, I use this to either, I'll use it sometimes when I'm not wearing uh, like eyeshadows. I'll use it to like place my concealer on my eye and then like set um, like my pressed powder when I don't. This is a great brush for that because you can get an even finish all over your lid whenever you use a brush like this. Or sometimes I'll use this as my um, transition color brush. Like the very first color I'll apply to the... Um, under my brow bone and like above the crease this is the one that i'll use especially when i want that color to be very intense uh and stand out i'll use that uh next we have i'm trying to make sure i don't show you the same ones next we have this stone brush it is uh it's like a tapered brush and for me i'll use this like in the corners when i want someone i want it to be very specific in a specific spot use it in the corners of my eye to give you like if you want to do like a smoky look but you don't want it to be like smoked out completely and you can uh like designate it with this brush in a specific area and i think this brush is uh it's great for that you can get a lot of product on it because it's it's very dense um all right next we have of course you have to have shadow brushes so that we can lay down those shadows okay we've been this has been shadows the whole time but this is a uh this is a flat head and this is a smaller brush and so for me this is like if i uh cut a crease and i want to apply the uh the eyeshadow to the open uh cut of the crease this is perfect because i can control the product using a brush like this i can control the product and without having it be everywhere or the uh the bristles are pretty even across so i'm able to hit the line of the cut crease and place the shadows where i want them to be all right all right next we have this is like the other brush but it's a little bit wider in um in the head size if you guys can see it still has a very evenly cut uh rounded head on it and so you're able to place the shadows where you want it this is also good i find for if i want to put a glitter do a glitter look and i want to just kind of dab the color uh over my lid and have it to be packed on there this is uh, a good brush for that as well next I have this small head um, dome. It has like a dome rounded uh, top to it. And most of the time I use this for like underneath my brow or I'll actually use it to um, like shape my brows um, 
underneath to make sure uh you know i have them the way that i want them and so this is a this is a great brush for that because it's small and it's um and the bristles are are tightly packed in there so that next we have this is another brush that would be good to apply like those transition colors or if you if you want to smoke out the edge of your eye and you want it to be a more fuller um like a more blown out type of mm, what am i trying to say if you want it to be a more uh blown out type of smoke then you can use this brush because you're able to unlike that first one that i showed you guys that had more of a like this like we're trying to get in a specific area or if you use this then you can come back and just kind of use this to blend it out just and keep it in that same area but it can be used twofold for both of those purposes okay uh next we have and for me like i love this brush when i'm just when i just want to do like a one shadow look like i just want to keep um like keep it simple keep it clean keep it classy um i just when i just want to apply like shadow maybe to my lid this is a great brush for that purpose you can pack a lot of uh product on here because again this is uh dense but it's fluffy at the same time and so you can pack product on there and spread it out and when you finish you can also kind of like um you know feather out your edges so that it doesn't look like you um you have those distinctive lines if you're not looking for that you can uh kind of um blend it out okay and lastly we have a lip brush or a liner brush and for me this can be used either way and i also use it like under my eye or when you want to hit like those corners of your eye to get that little pop of pizzazz uh in the corner well guys that has been a overall review of born beautiful's 15 piece face and eye brush set if you would like to get your own set of these amazing brushes please check out bornbeautifulcosmetics.com i will link it down in the uh description also check out our tiktok and our um instagram all right, guys, that's it for now. Look out for more Born Beautiful videos, and thanks for rocking.